Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and I'm in our delivery bay. I walked in, and you know, I always say we're famous for repowering, but we'll repower anything you've got. And today, I just saw four boats that I just had to show you. Have a look at this first in one. It's a landing barge. So this front comes down, you get buggies, motorcycles, anything. This is wild sort of boat. Come down here, Sarah. Dean's on a day off, Sarah's doing all the work. You got a trailer, and what we've done with this, come down the back, because no one's seen anything like this. We've put dual 90s, white ones, because they're sexy, you know, and uh, big sounders, side concealed, you know, uh, control boxes, batteries. I love this boat. You know, I don't know how, uh, you know, purpose built. Now, the next one I want to see, and anyone that wants to a big, long boat, have a look at this thing. It's got, I, I've never seen anything like it. Well, I have, get over the top and have a look. It's all aluminium, aluminiumlongboats.com. Now, we've just repowered it, so good on them. And this is a weapon. Look at the size of it. If you want a big boat, I don't know how you see over the front. We've put a 175 on it. It's got, that might be the biggest sim rad you can buy. You know, he's hardcore. He's got a 175 XB with the hydro built-in hydraulic steering. And isn't that a beautiful looking motor? Have a look down that boat. It's a big, long trailer boat, isn't it? You know, I don't know, maybe you're a crabber. Maybe, I once met a guy and he introduced, and I was at a fishing lodge. He introduced himself as the person that pioneered the legal crab industry of South Australia. He made a machine to get the flesh out of a crab. Unbelievable. He was quite proud of it. I think he might have gone to jail. Have a look at this thing, another 225. And this is an old Haynes, Haynes Hunter 213 that's been customised. It's gonna go like hell with a, a 225 on it. Looks like they've increased the size of the transom. This is a very, look at that, look at that board, that metal um, little sleeve that they've put in. It's not what we do now, but gee, it's effective. Big console boat. Wow, look at it. That, you know, that's probably a 70s boat that someone's really played with. One of my dream boats as a child, because I, I, I grew up a bit in Victoria. I was born in Western Australia, but I grew up in Victoria in Wonturna. And down the road is International Marine, who were Caribbean. And Bertram, right? They, you called themselves Bertram when they had the eagle they were the other way around until they got sued by American Caribbean. Anyway, and this Caribbean, this has got a 175. This would be a reef runner. And this was my trophy boat. And anyone in the bay catching snapper, have a look over the top, cabin boat. It's just big cockpit, you know, solid, well-made boats. Lots of my mates worked at Caribbean or International Marine, what it was called, or what it is still called. We love them, you know, the Spooner family, they're awesome, they're the Caribbean gardens. And I used to go and sneak into Caribbean gardens and feed the monkeys. True story. Have a look at that. So, you know, whatever your dream is, the longest, skinniest boat you've ever seen in the world, a custom boat, Haynes, a legendary Haynes, uh, Caribbean. I tell you, if you need a motor, my guys, we've already done it. So if you've got any questions, call the team, 3888-1727. We'll make your dreams come true on an outboard, and we've got a special.